I'm doing a TED Talk on motivation. And I have absolutely none of that. There are two forms of motivation, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic is where someone will perform a task or complete action for their own self-satisfaction. Extrinsic usually has some kind of reward like money, power, good grades, something along those lines where the only way to get them to do it is by giving them some kind of treat at the end. Most tasks that require motivation are a combination of the two. For instance, if a kid is learning how to ride his bike, his parents promise him, if you learn how to ride your bike with no training wheels, I'll take you out to ice cream. The kid is motivated because he wants to go get ice cream, but at the same time, he has this self-satisfaction that now he can ride a bike without his parents' help or without training wheels. Challenges associating with motivation is like having the urge to want to push yourself to do something. A lot of people who go on diets or say they're going to do like this crazy fitness routine always tell their friends and family, you need to hold me to this. You need to push me to work towards my goal. But the only person who can push you to do those things is ultimately you. By having the want to reach your own goal keeps yourself accountable and that's what truly motivates you. You can't expect people to hold you to it and then when you don't do something, blame others. Something that people don't know is when you're trying to stay motivated, if there's something that's bothering you or there's just like a reason you really don't want to do something, it's usually easier to just get it over with and bear the inconvenience of the task and just finish it rather than just putting it off and waiting until the last minute, which is what leads to procrastination. The key to motivation is mentally crossing that threshold between I really don't want to do this and maybe I should just suck it up and do it anyways. Chemical compound that everybody has in their brain called dopamine. It is in the body as a neurotransmitter. Dopamine levels are now strongly believed to be connected with motivation. A behavioral neuroscientist did a lab based off of rats. It basically showed that rats with lower levels of dopamine in their brain were less likely or less willing to climb over this little fence to get to a pile of food. And it showed that the rats that had a higher level of dopamine in their brain were more willing to climb over the obstacle course to get to the large pile of food. Now obviously the rats getting to their food isn't really equivalent to somebody wanting to run every day for a month, but it still has the same idea where the more dopamine you have in your mind or like the m or the more willing you are to do something, the more likely it's going to happen. People in today's day and age should not be afraid to push themselves further and further. Motivation should be something that makes you feel good. Reaching a goal that you've wanted to accomplish can mentally and physically do your body good. I want everyone to think of a goal that they would like to accomplish and just, it can be small, it doesn't have to be some huge, insane goal, but I think everybody should try and complete it. No incentive, no reward, no treat at the end, just solely because you want to make yourself good and you want to have that self-satisfaction that you actually stuck to something and that you motivated yourself and you kept yourself motivated. I think that can have a really big impact on people. People should stop waiting for inspiration and motivation to strike them and just make a plan for your habits. If you're going to procrastinate, at least plan out your procrastination. If you get a project that's due in two weeks and you know you only need three days to complete it, well then go ahead and procrastinate. But when those three days come up, you better motivate yourself to finish that project because You've already procrastinated far long enough, you cannot do it anymore. Motivation can be key to success. Without motivation, there's only laziness left. People who are lazy and people who have self-motivation are less likely to accomplish what they want in life than the people who motivated themselves and actually got to where they got because they tried their best. Just make sure whatever you decide to do, it's something that you actually want to do. Something that you're gonna give your full effort something you're gonna dive 100% into. All the little things that you promise yourself you're gonna do that you never actually do, it's just hurting yourself. By giving yourself a little confidence boost of completing a task and actually motivating yourself to do it, 
it's going to leave you feeling a lot better in the long run than giving up on everything you set out to achieve. Stay motivated. Encourage your friends to stay motivated. Even encourage strangers to stay motivated. If you see somebody running on the side of the street and they start to slow down, you can just roll down your car window and be like, I believe in you. Keep running. Do not stop. Unless you have a health issue, then you should probably stop. I think people are usually afraid of being motivated by something because it's hard work or it takes a lot of time out of their day or they have to cancel plans because they want to stick to their routine. But ultimately, it's going to help you or whoever it is in the future if they can stay motivated 